Speaking of Oregon's treasurer, the current person in that role, Tobias Reed, has joined up with the Attorney General, Ellen Rosenblum, to file a lawsuit against the board of directors of the Fox Corporation. That's the parent company of Fox News. We first told you about this three months ago when Reed and Rosenblum headed down this path to consider whether Fox's board hurt Oregon's investments by allowing its news show to make false claims about the 2020 presidential election. Well, the time to consider is apparently over, and now they have filed suit today. In June, Treasurer Reed told us the state had just under 12 million invested in Fox. The lawsuit alleges that Fox's board knew that Fox News promotion of election lies created, quote, significant exposure to defamation charges, and the Fox made no good faith efforts to mitigate that defamation risk. Fox settled the lawsuit from Dominion Voting Machine Company to the tune of $787 million. That's what they paid out. And there are other lawsuits against Fox that have not yet been decided, meaning, you know what, they could be on the hook for even more payouts, which could affect investors even more, investors like the state of Oregon. In a statement today, Treasurer Tobias Reed wrote, Our responsibility to safeguard the retirement investments of Oregon's public servants is of the utmost importance. We aim to hold Fox's board of directors, including Rupert and Lockin Murdoch, accountable for their decisions. We believe that this action is necessary in fulfilling our obligation to our beneficiaries. And for those of you who are thinking, hey, wait a minute, this lawsuit is probably just politically motivated. We asked the treasurer about that earlier this summer. And I can just hear critics from the right, for example, saying, oh, you just want to do this because you're part of a progressive state and you want to take a shot at a conservative media. We're, we're interested in making sure that our investments are being well managed, that the boards of companies uh, are meeting their obligations, that are, they're looking out for their shareholders. Um, we, we do this in a variety of places, um, and, and that's consistent with our obligation to the 400,000 beneficiaries on, on whose behalf we're investing. Now, it's worth noting that the state of Oregon is not alone in this lawsuit. New York City's pension funds are co-plaintiffs. They hold around $28 million in Fox stock. The New York Times reports the lawsuit does not specify dollars amount, the damages that they want from Fox Corporation, but it adds to it the list of legal problems for the company. And though it's likely far from the biggest suit that they're facing, the biggest one, mm, that's $2.7 billion lawsuit from the election technology company Smartmantic, which still has to wind its way through the courts.